Star Tracker to test my Canon ESM and my Samsung Galaxy S22 smartphone for astrophotography using the exact same settings and stacking process for both cameras to capture these images. What you're seeing here are 230 raw images combined and stacked by each camera capturing row of Uchi cloud complex which is an interstellar cloud system 360 light years away from Earth. Capturing all of my images, I uploaded all the pictures into a free app called Sequator to stack them and combine all of them to get best out of it. Row Opichi Cloud Complex is an easy target to find in the dark sky which stands right next to Milky Way's arm and it's pretty big that you can find and capture with any lens. Also, using a star tracker to rotate my cameras continuously to track and capture dimmer nebulas without having long exposure star trails. This specific mini star tracker can carry up to two cameras, but make sure to not exceed the three kilos loading capacity. Green bracket comes with the pro pack that you can install two cameras and track two different sky objects at the same time. Weight leveling and polar alignment was fairly easy when you follow the instruction manual and the console app that works with both iPhone and Android devices. I'm using intervalometers to press shutter button every 30 seconds for each camera that will basically track and capture for three hours tonight. After transferring all raw images into two separate folders for each camera, I will go open Sequator stacking app. I'm going to fast forward this boring stacking and grading process to get to the results. And if you would like to learn more about this process, please read the description below that I will provide more technical details and required links for everything I mentioned in this video. And if you have any specific question, you can also ask me in the comment sections too. These are the final images after stacking from Sequator. I can see S22 created lots of noise and vignetting due to having a tiny sensor, but still impressive results compared to Canon's big CMOS sensor. I opened final stacked images with Photoshop for quick color grading. I will basically reduce the noise and crop the image to get rid of vignetting on the corners without going into too much details. After processing both, here are the results. Of course the winner is canon here, with more details, especially getting the colors of the nebula cloud, but I'm also shocked by the S22's capability of deep sky astrophotography. 
Also want to mention, taking more pictures will eventually increase the quality when you're stacking. Sometimes portability can be the most important thing and considering this phone carries 3 cameras, 13mm super wide, 22mm wide and 70mm 3x telephoto lens allowing you to long exposure for 30 seconds without carrying chunky lenses and batteries. I will also try to take calibration frames next time using this tiny astrophotography setup to get rid of the vignetting and noise in the image. I'm going to add all the necessary download links and gears used in this video in the description below. If you have any specific question, you can ask me in the comment section.